the perfect start for New Zealand. 110 and then a first baller, your next game. And he just played from the crease, his feet went nowhere. And that's a good sharp catch, diving away to his right. New Zealand get an early wicket, two for one. Jim's on and he's come a cropper. This will be out with it. Yes, and well, Bond has bounced him. Southie's taken the catch. So the balloon. And it just had too much pace for Brad Haddon's shot here. It climbed on him. And he got it very high on the blade, which means no power, no timing. And Tim Southey, the simplest of catches. So, yes, New Zealand have struck. And Australia are 27 for one. Haddon gone 17. Oh, that's a rough snorter. It's got a glove, has it? Has it got a glove? Yes, it has. Well, Ponting doesn't agree for one second. A Gary New Zealand appeal. And is this a big moment? Well, I tell you what, this is nowhere near the glove. They have sold him here. Absolutely sold him here. Have a look at this. What it's done is it's swung after it's come off the helmet. It's, it's just, it's gone back and it's hit the helmet straight through to Hopkins. It's nowhere near the gloves. Oh, you've got to feel for Ricky Ponting. He's got to go. 27 for two. But uh, it's really up to the bowlers from here. That was wide and gone. So it's Horrocks, he just sliced it away. Scott Storris was the man who took the catch. And Australia have now lost their eighth wicket. Yeah, it was wide. It did give him the opportunity to free his arms, but he didn't get enough timing on it. And he just really scythed it away behind point, and Styrus got in the way of it. No trouble at all, so Horrocks goes for night. These two possess qualities that have never been seen before. Over the top, as far as the man in the deep, and it's Tim Southey who appropriately has the last say. He's bowled well, he's taken four wickets, and now he's taken a very good catch. And uh, here at the Wellington Stadium, at last, they have reason to get to their feet for the New Zealand cricket side. Yeah, it's probably going to be out, be out of Bond and Southey, both four wickets. And Tim Southey, a pretty good catch running in, diving forward. So Shane Bond fig finishes with the figures of 4 for 26 off 9.1 overs. So a good end for New Zealand in the Chapel Hadley series. A win against the Aussies. And they'll be happy with that.